Welcome back to Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice. We have another god that we need to work towards to take down. If we want to get through that door. The god of illusion. Grandsons were dark after him. Of his daughters and granddaughters, some were monstrous, but others were fair. But there was another who came from the ice. Buri. In shape, he was like a man, big and powerful. His son, Bor, took a fair giant to be his wife. And they had three sons. Odin was the eldest, and the Northmen hold him to be the foremost of the gods. The old father. the path to Balravn. Don't trust your eyes. Find another way to see the truth. Don't trust your eyes. Okay. wasn't the illusion, was it? Because it wasn't much of an illusion if it was. Ah, that's the illusion. So is it going to stay that way? Yes. It's funny. We all want to see behind the veil, don't we? But once we do, we mostly just close our eyes again and pretend what we saw was never really there. I'm glad to see the hair is behaving now. I feel like I'm supposed to fight, but... But fight what? The voices are saying go back. Oh, 
I can just use this, can't I? Oh, yeah. I'm kind of stuck in the mode of we gotta, like, unlock everything, but <laughs> that wasn't locked. Okay, now we're definitely gonna fight. Be really careful with multiple enemies. Let's take the easier one first. Now the combat is like relatively simple, but it's pretty it's pretty good. She will find what she's looking for. It's really satisfying. And knowing that there's permadeath and that it's on hard and it's it feels like a decent challenge. Like I feel scared during combat. Wait, I'm going backwards, aren't I? Illusory wall. Valraven's power of illusion comes from ravens. Align the ravens to break his magic seal. Show me what you have seen, Truth. Look how much. 
I think I need to get up there and look through that symbol from up there. Is my guess? Whoa, there's a floating thing up there. Huh. But uh, how do I actually get up there? I get down from over there. The voice said, look around, it's all changed. Well, this out here looks the same. Oh, this has changed now, hasn't it? There's a hole in the wall. Well, that helps. Look at how amazing that fire looks. Beautiful. Is that creature still up there? No. There's that, but it's not alive. Look at all the vegetation rustling around. So beautiful. So get a wooden platform with a rope leading to it. I don't know if I can... I don't think I can, like, climb on the rope or anything. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if that floating creature I saw before is somewhere around here watching me. somewhere somehow.
break the seal, align the ravens with the mark of Balraven. Yeah, I gotta look at it from that platform over there. Question is, how do I get there? Oh, there's an actual raven over there. A live one. I wonder if I'm being watched through the eyes of the raven. How do I get there? Eyeballs and stuff. Follow it, and it will lead you to him. But be aware of his illusions. You can't always trust your eyes. Ah, pathway through here. them already I probably have to stay focused on them if I was to guess or like keep them in sight always don't turn around How do I get over this pit? I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to turn my focus. Uh, I guess I have to. Oh, I gotta look through here, right? Just the tree blocking them, turning them to nothing. Is she lost? That'll be the first time. Ah. Last winter, before the tragedy, she journeyed into the wilds of her native land, living off of berries, roots, and rabbits. It's not uncommon, you see. We call such a person a guest. Some like truth become guilt in search of truth. To make it back are forever changed. Ah, now there's steps up to that thing.
The worst kind comes without warning. Deep and primal signal from within. A reminder that just because you cannot see the threat, it doesn't mean that it's not already here. Baravan, he's there. This looks like an arena. Oh god. Okay, let's take out this one first. It's a focus thing? It's a focus thing. That's good to know. You know what, there's a hope. Okay, just you and me. So when can I focus? Like, does the focus need to charge or something? Is it just time or, or what? Trying to figure out how it works. Where the other one is? Oh. It's kind of far away. I'm gonna go for it. Okay, I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. Oh, I think like dodging charges it. Yeah, it does. Okay. Take him down. Take him down. Get him down. You can also get behind attacks. a much better way to fight those enemies. Still not super easy, but a lot, be a lot better than getting a single quick attack off like before and then my eyes just end up burning, although they're kind of burning right now, but it's a bit shorter. Ooh.
The Northmen say that Odin and his brothers killed Ymir, and that the world of men was formed from his corpse. They made his bones into stone, and his flesh into earth, and his blood into the salt sea. They set his skull to be the bowl of the sky, with his brains for clouds. Odin and his brothers caught the sparks flying from Muspel and made them into stars. And to protect the new world from the giants, they used Ymir's great curving eyebrows as walls. Do you know what it's like to leave everything behind? Your home? Loved ones? To head deep into the wilds? Perhaps never to return? Senua does. Because when darkness speaks, it changes everything. Turning home into a foreign land and loved ones into strangers. Exile makes sense when you realize that you were never really home in the first place. Looks like a big puzzly place. Lots of bridges and things. Reminds her of somewhere. The forest. Where? Which forest? The forest in the wilds. The wilds. She left the she I love those her. effects. Why did she go to the wild? She wanted to fight her own darkness. <laughs> she thought she could beat her own darkness. Did she beat her darkness? No. <laughs> it nearly killed her, but she tried. Druth. Druth helped her. If it wasn't for Druth, she'd, she'd be, be dead. dead. She can't beat her own darkness. She wanted to marry Dillian. She came to beat her own darkness and marry Dillian. I don't know which one is real. She thought her curse would affect him. She thought her curse would spread to him. She thought she'd bring the darkness to him too. She, she nearly died. She thought the curse made her tainted. Druth helped her. Is there something I can... Oh, wait. Oh. There we go. So now I can get there, but... I need to actually get to the other side. Probably only ownable from the other side. Yep.
there's no way across. Oh! Oh, Christ. I thought maybe I would die. Whew. How do I get up there? I see there's... looks like I could go through here. himself with a spear, and he dedicated a sacrifice to himself. For nine nights he hung on the tree without food or drink, and at last he saw the runes below him. He gave a cry, and gathered them in his mind and learned them. Then he fell from the tree. I think there's probably a pathway up here that I have to reveal through looking through something. Perhaps we should try going to the other side? Can we get to the other side? effects. sure what to do. Oh, I see. So this one portal here, if you look through it... Yeah, this makes sense. So, if you look through it, uh, like, originally, it was like this. The wall was there, which means you can walk on top of the wall and get over there. So the pathway is there, but there's no way to get inside. I changed it to, there's a way to get inside, but no pathway because I got rid of the wall. But, now that I've opened up that door to the side, I can put the wall back in place. see what this does if anything does it do anything mm, yeah the ravens or the, the glowing symbols are different what else though that can't be it nothing that way wait what's over this way Right, well, I'm not sure what this does, but I know I need to do it. The 
I guess I've eliminated some of the false ones. I have no idea when it happened, I just wandered around for a while, and now this area has a little bridge. I'll take it. I do anything else, I want to make sure I get this bridge down so I can get back here easily. into the darkness, the more she struggled to see anything at all. And the glow, the smallest hints of shape, sound, and thought, grew in strength until they consumed her whole. Before she knew it, the darkness had her in its claws. The gate is open! Open! There is no such thing as victory when it comes to the darkness. It's like it doesn't want to kill me. Yet. Oh no, at her. Biding its time. Only when she is at her weakest will it strike to kill. Will she find Dillian? before her time comes. Well, I think that's a pretty good place to end this episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to continue on further and probably encounter the God of Illusion.